Hello everyone, it's Carrie from sunshineinmypocket.com and today I'm really excited to bring you these videos because I have some of the new Spring Bird layering dies and the layering Blue Jay die and this amazing A7 Birdhouse pop-up card die. And these are probably some of my favorite products that I've worked with recently. I just love them. So in this first video, I'm gonna show you the Larian Spring Birds, which is this here. It cuts out two different birds. I'm also gonna show you the Larian Blue Jay die, and I'm gonna show you how to put these together. I have to admit, I couldn't stop creating with these. I absolutely adore these sets. Now there are some small pieces to these sets, and you can see here, I am just kind of fitting the dry fitting these to see where they go. I cut them all out of white cardstock and this is a thicker cardstock. It's 110 pounds. So I wanted to create some nice sturdy birds for my projects today. So that's what this is. And I'm just figuring out which items go with which birds. Now there's a smaller bird, this one here that I'm putting together. It's got all these pieces so you can build some of the most amazing, bright, beautiful spring birds. And then there's that larger one over on the, the right, the fatter one. I'm gonna call him chubby. I, I can't say fat. He's a chubby little cute bird. So I've got some bird pictures of birds that I want to imitate. If you are having a hard time figuring out what colors to make your birds, then just do a little search. I've created a whole file of birds that I love and I've actually been creating this file for quite a long time, probably at least two years because ever since my dad died, I've just been obsessed with birds lately. And so this is one of the ones in my file and I thought I could recreate it. One of the reasons this die set is so awesome is there are quite a few layers so that you can create different colors on your birds. You can make the most beautiful spring birds, as I said. So I'm gonna build this one here, and I have a silicone mat that I'm working on here. And this makes it even easier to build my birds, to color them up with inks. And I found that for me, I loved doing this because it was so fast to color them with inks and then put them all together. And the silicone mat helps those pieces stay in place a little bit better anyway, and so that I could color them up very simply and build the birds. So you can see this first one, I have a picture there on the right of the bird I am creating with that purple chest, it's so pretty. He's got a red head and kind of a white beak. This one, since there are all these different pieces, I'm gonna go ahead and put that beak on and leave that white. But since there are the, all these pieces, you can create a bird like this. It's unlike any bird dies that I have. They're really, really awesome. I'm using Distress Inks today and my blending brushes, mostly, to color these up. And I'm pulling in all the colors that I think kind of match up. The purple there is the Dusty Concord. And this one here is Festive Berries. I used some mustard seed for the yellow. And I'm gonna create some blue accents for this bird. If you look closely at the bird, he has some light blue colors to him. So I have this speckled egg ink that I'm gonna use for this one. Now you can use any inks that you want. You can use Distress Inks, you can use any dye inks. You could even use oxides or, or hybrid inks if you want. I am going to use some of a bunch of different inks today. The reason I love these Distress Inks though is they are very bright and vibrant and they match these little personalities of my birds. Because what I was looking for is just the colors to build my beautiful bright birds. So you can see this was super easy to put together. I'm gonna add that last little piece for his tail. I could pick these up with my fingers. However, if you want to use a a pickup stick or a, a magic wand or an embellishment wand. That really helps for the smaller pieces like his eye here. And I just used a Copic marker on this eye. I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. I'm just checking my picture to make sure that I'm creating this 
the way that it looks similar, at least. I think sometimes looking at just a white canvas or a blank white bird is a little intimidating, but God has created the most amazing birds for us to enjoy and admire and recreate in paper, I would say. <laughs> so this one is probably one of my favorites. I'm going to probably say that about all of them. I went ahead and inked up his belly with Rusty Hinge Distress Ink. Yeah, I am going to say that about a lot of them. But look at how fluffy he is. He's a really happy bird. And so that first part is Rusty Hinge. And then I'm going to bring in some speckled egg for this one. And also some darker, more intense blues. This one is a really fun bird. And I am creating a lot of different card ideas with these birds for you. I did have to break this video up into two parts. <laughs> I couldn't stop creating. I mean, that's what happens when you get super excited about a product and you just keep on going and going and going. And that is what happened to me on this project. I made a lot of birds. I'm not going to show you how I created all of the birds. I am going to show you the pictures though and what the birds turned out to be like, but I will share quite a few here at the beginning and then I'll show you all the birds I created at the end. So I hope you'll stay tuned and watch. If you're interested though in just the putting together of the birdhouses and the cards, then you can go on to part two of this video series. So I am putting together the rest of this bird before I move on to the next bird. And you can see I started using my embellishment wand a little bit more to pick up the smaller pieces and place them where they needed to be. Look at how cute that little light blue beak is. So cute. This is blueprint sketch right here for adding the darker, more vibrant shades of blue. And then I'll also bring in some black soot to make it just a little bit darker for his headpiece here. Aren't these birds just the cutest? There is a piece for the eye and there's a piece for the, the darker part of the eye. For this one, I ended up just using a Copic multi-liner to add that inside part of the eye. And you can see that I did use this as my inspiration, but it's not exactly the same. That's one of the great parts of having your creative liberties to create whatever you want. Now I went ahead and inked the, the feet with the same rusty hinge, but I wanted to add the second layer because that really does create a more sturdy bird. So here you go, here's this bird right here and it does match up with this little bird in my own creative way. Now his face is darker in the picture, but I really just like the colors of that rusty hinge with the blue. So there's our first two birds. Now this bird, look at that. That's a real picture of a real bird. He has a lime green face and head, a little bit of purple. I brought some Copic markers into that one. Here's the chickadee. I love his little yellow belly, and then I also colored up his wings with grays and added some Copic markers to him as well. There's again our rusty hinge with the blues. He's such a beautiful, beautiful bird. Then this one is one I created off. Oh, this is the first one that we created together. Now look at this one. How sweet is that little hot pink bird? I didn't even know this bird existed, and I don't even know all the names of these birds, although I should probably write them down. I'm starting with the picked raspberry to bring in that really nice hot pink and I taped off his feet for this one. Picked raspberry is a really nice bright hot pink and it is really singing when I add quite a bit of that to this one. The rest I'm going to go ahead and ink up with hickory smoke and then also some black soot. And that's going to be a really easy bird because we've just got the couple of colors. I did add a little bit of that hickory smoke to his wings and the top of his head because I wanted it to show up to be gray underneath where I was putting the rest of the wings. 
And then for his feet, I also inked those up with some of the grays. And I'll just add those right to the bird just like this. These are really easy to figure out which pieces belong where because there are some indentations in the die so everything fits right along like a puzzle. You can really easily figure this out. That's why I wanted to dry fit them at first but once I started to get going on these I really did make them pretty quickly. And then we'll just finish putting this one together. This might be my favorite. Did I say that already about another one? <laughs> I brought in some saltwater taffy for the smaller piece underneath the wing. So we had a variation in the pinks and that just really brings that bird wing out. And I just have to add the eye to this one now. So I'm gonna glue that on and add the little center piece that I already colored with black. So see how cute it is with the die cut pieces? They're perfect. There we go, it's almost coming to life, right? I love him. Of course I had to make a robin red breast. Here in Arizona, we see a lot of these little robins and I love them. They have very bright yellow, uh, red breast of course, and then ours are more brown here, so I decided to color mine up with brown. I'm starting out with some lumberjack plaid. You can tell I have never used this color. So that creates the darker red and then I brought in a brighter red which is the festive berries and that will really liven up our, our little robin. I colored up his feet with some orange and then I'm going to color the rest using some vintage photo. But you can see I'm starting to get faster at building these birds and coloring them up. Depending on how many colors you use, these can be very quick birds to create. When you add a lot more colors, it takes a little bit longer. But again, if you have a silicone mat or something where the pieces don't move around too much, it really helps. It helps with the coloring. Now I sped this up just a little bit, you can probably tell, but for the most part, I'm getting faster. And see how cute he is. I just wanted a little bit of brown on his head as well. And then I'll add that eye and there is our Robin. Now look at this one. He's yellow with a turquoise beak and a little bit of peach on his chest. So there is my version of this little guy. So beautiful. I mean, did you even know these birds existed in real life? I think it would be fun to create some birds that are that live around you in your area. Now this one I created, obviously my picture has a much longer tail, but look at those colors. Some blues and blacks. And now I'm just gonna show you all the birds that we created today. I love that little chickadee, and there's the one with the rusty hinge, my little pink bird there, and the robin redbreast, all with that same dye. And then the second bird, I did the one with the lime green, on his head in a purple wing. Then this one with all of those variations in color. Amazing colors of birds. Just beautiful. So if you ever have a challenge picking your colors, then just find some pictures. Now real quick, wanted to show you the blue jay, the layering blue jay dye, and I did find a picture so that I could copy that blue jay, and there he is, beautiful bird. This one is also pretty easy to put together. There are some different lines to add to the wings. And in this layering set, you also get some layering cherry blossoms or flowers, whatever you want these to be. I'm using a detail brush for the top layer to add some brighter color on the inside. And now I'm going to just use some spun sugar around the edge and that will create my little cherry blossoms for this bird. I'm gonna build this on one of the birdhouse cards in the next video. I hope you'll join us there. But I just wanted to show you how simple these are to layer up. And it's really great because the leaves are separate. See the leaves over there on the right? So even if you get some pink onto the leaves, you're gonna be layering those up on top with the green leaves anyway. 
and so it works out really great. So I colored up that branch with some brown. Now I'm gonna go ahead and layer these on top, and then I'm gonna add all the leaves to the top of that. So these just create a really beautiful branch. You can sit any of your birds on this branch as well. You can use it as a backdrop, or you can use it with the birdhouse card pop-up dies that I'm gonna be using it with. I did create a few other birds with that Blue Jay set. You don't have to create only a Blue Jay. You can create a bunch of different cards, especially if they have a tuft of feathers on their head, like this one with the yellow and the dark blue. Then I, of course I had to create a woodpecker. We get a lot of woodpeckers around our house and they even come and peck on our house sometimes. But there's the picture inspiration with that tuft of fur on top and here's another one so there's lots of different birds you can create with this one as well i just didn't add the stripes to those other two aside from the blue jay so these are really fun and then i use some gemstones for the eyes on a couple of them in my next video i'm going to show you the bird house pop-up die i'm going to create a regular a2 card and a smaller card and a couple of pop-up cards as well. So you can see how these work together. So if you are interested to see these and how they come together and how fun they are to create, then please head on over to part two. I'll have it linked below and also in the videos here at the end. So it's easy to find, hopefully easy to find. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If you enjoyed this video and these birds, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps out with YouTube. And I'll be back soon. See you then. Bye-bye.